Welcome back to City Skylines, the Snowfall DLC, guys. Today, we're going to be building a ski resort in our city. It is going to be absolutely awesome, and the only way our citizens are going to get to this ski resort is by ferry or train. Let's go. This city is amazing. There's so many things, so many moving parts, so many things that are actually happening in this city. Look at the wonderful city it is. This here is the new district, as you can see. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. It looks pretty, pretty. And look at all the people. Wow. So many people. This must be where the campus is, I think. Yeah, because we've got the dormitories here. Wow, this city is looking so, so cool. Wow, look at all the high sky, high sky skyscrapers with net mixed with the low dents. I'm not really a fan of like these. These are being really high. These are being really small. Wow, look at this city. Guys, you have to admit, this city looks amazing. Guys, can we get about five likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated because, guys, you liking this video tells me that you absolutely love this city. But, guys, in the last video, we built an airport here in this city. This airport is the air, air, Metropolitan Airport of Airedale. That's probably what we're going to call it. But this is the Metropolitan Air Airport. It is busy getting things done and working. Uh, it doesn't say anything here, but... We do have people coming in and out of this Metropolitan Airport. I'm not sure if you can see it. There is another aircraft here. Well, there's an aircraft here. Uh, if we can click on it. No, it's a cargo plane. So with this cargo um, hub here is actually working. So many trains coming through here. Like 33% coming from cargo hub. Wow. They, like, it's amazing. Does it come out with... Is it going anywhere? I don't know. No, it didn't. just disappeared. But, wow. What do we got over here? A fire. Oh, that's no good. Where's our helicopters? We've got an offshore mining rig on fire. Where is our helicopters? Do we have helicopters coming? Oh, no. It's already been sorted. Yeah, that is pretty cool, yeah. So, in the last video, guys, we built this, these two bits of airport. We built the normal metropolitan airport, and we also built a cargo airport, too. And we also built this little town that we now call Rosewood Park. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't changed the name yet. Um, what is going on here? I may need to change something here. There's, uh, there's not, why are you not going? I want you to go. Like, go, go, go. Go type thing. Uh, do I need to do, assign you some lanes? Put some, some actual lanes for you to get going type. I don't know what I gotta do, but there you go. Just go. Go, 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 go. Wow, this is all backed up. Wow. But yeah, we, oh, wow. We must have had a bit massive fire come through here. Wow. That is amazing. But yeah, in this episode, we built all of this. So guys, I think that was a really cool episode. A cool episode. An epic thumbnail as well. So guys, if you did check that video out, go and use the link in the description down below to check out that video of what we did. We uh, Go and use the link in the description to check that video out. That's what I should probably say. I have no idea what I'm saying. It's like the afternoon now, and I probably have no idea what I'm saying. But yeah, we built this uh, little place here, and we also looked at the ore industry as well. So yeah, the ore industry is not the best industry ever. Um, <laughs> not as big as what we would have. But yeah, make it us money now this ore industry, which is pretty cool. And if we come over to here, we are three star now. Finally, we've unlocked like the mine, the medium mining rigs. What's this like? Eight thousand units a week. I'd love to get to the large ore mine. That'd be pretty cool. For us to get to the next level, we need 4,500 units. But I think it is going to be time to upgrade all this. Maybe even just to medium, all the medium stuff. That could be pretty cool. Um, we've also unlocked the seabed mining vessel. In terms of metal, yeah, we've unlocked that. Yeah, we've unlocked a few things. But that is all okay. Airedale Oil Group making 123,000 profit. That is amazing. Let's go to our budgets and let's have a look at this. Like, in terms of our income, yeah, we're a little bit down in terms of our residential income. It's not as much as it was bef once before. Making so you can see where all our money is for our residential. Level 3 commercial buildings mainly. Level 2 office buildings. Office buildings don't really give us any money. Oil industry is the one making us the most money, followed by our warehouses. And, quite surprising, we're actually now making money on our public transport too, off our monorails and our buses. 
which is really cool to see. In terms of sightseeing, it's mainly other. So yeah, we're making good money on tourism 2300. That is good. Let's have a look. Is that that park that's making us the most money? 4,000 from our park. That's amazing to see. But today, guys, we're going to be looking at building a ski resort. Now, like I've been talking to, uh, to you guys in the last few episodes of what we were going to do. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to click here and we need to unlock some tiles. So, I think I'm going to unlock this tile here. I think these two tiles as well. I might try and maybe unlock all of these. I don't think I want to go up here. Maybe go up the mountain a little bit more. That could be pretty cool. Up through the mountain. I'm not sure how high I want to go. But let's not go all the way up the top. This is pretty good. Where is the boundary? Oh, right up on top of the hill. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. That border there. We could probably do something up here on the ski slopes or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how it works. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But this is that winter parks and plazas type thing that I want to put it, put up the top there. Um, in terms of city park, it may turn out to be like a city park. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe. We, we could actually probably look at a nature reserve, maybe. Put some camp campsites? No, not really a campsite. That doesn't really fit in with the theme that we're going here. Maybe an amusement park. Even just a normal park we could put up there. Put it as like a number one park fishing pier and all that but yeah i kind of want to do this what where have you can you place this like anywhere it has to be placed like a roadside roadside as well okay we're gonna see what we could do up here we might make like a little cottage up the top here there could be some good good places to build let's have a look of our height terrain we'll go out a terrain thing as you see this is the highest point that we've got right here this is very very high up here and this is low it's not too bad around here we can probably get some stuff going in down here um around here we could flatten a little bit of this out a little bit so here could be pretty cool uh all in here we could flatten all this out here so we could create a nice little village in here and i think up the top we try and maybe flatten a little bit out on the top here and we could probably put in some things in here. Wow, that's even higher. <laughs> wow. There is so many things that we could look at doing. But what I was saying in the last episode, this is going to be, we're going to create like a city or like maybe, I don't know what I want to create. Let's, maybe we create a city. What do you guys reckon? Should we create a city maybe over here? Maybe create a, like a nice big city or something. I really honestly do not know what I want to do. But I think I'm going to create a city where a train line comes in, right? And you can only access this island via train train or ferry and i do think that we do get some awesome 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 things let's come in here let's have a look if we scroll through do we get any of those type of hubs let's have a look a ferry bus exchange do we get like a ferry train station a multi and multi-platform no i don't want anything like that uh what else we got here train metro hub we got metro intercity bus hub bus metro no that's not what i'm after ferry depot ferry stop ferry pier two ferries at once connect ferry spot yeah but i can't even talk that could be pretty cool we could put one of these in that, that could be pretty cool down on the side here somewhere i don't know we got a lot of shipping lanes and i also like to maybe look Look at the fishing industry as well. If we come here to fish, where's a lot of shellfish here? So a lot of shellfish we get to mine up. And I think we might put a fishing industry over here, maybe. Or even actually right here in this, like we can cut this out, maybe. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? We could make some type of artificial thing here and cut it in. We'll put a fishing industry over here. We'll create a nice big residential area here. Maybe even like even if we say we've got a boundary of how we want to do it. Maybe set up like a boundary type thing, like what, how we want to do it. Maybe like a boundary of trees and then we do all the road layouts and then maybe do something cool. I don't know what I want to do, but I think this is going to be a pretty long time lapse though, because this is going to be a pretty big build. I want to do like the ski resort, but um, we're basically planning out another city in this city, basically a city. Like we're basically planning out an island city because it's basically a big, big island. If you think about it, it is practically its own island and it's separate there's no road connection over here there's only a train line that comes through here which is setting up a really good success i think it's going to we could even create our own power and water and all that jazz over here actually thinking about that 
That could be a pretty cool, cool idea, and we put it over here in the fishing industry. Before I start building this epic city, guys, I need to tell you guys something. That only 35% of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So that means only 64% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. Guys, what are you doing? Click that red subscribe button down below to be part of this growing family. We always put you, the subscribers, first. We upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So you will not miss out on a brand new video which is super cool and guys we always put you first so guys comment down below if you are new here comment down below what game you want to see next here on the channel city skylands is coming to an end at the end of this week so guys comment down below right now what game you want to see next so guys with that said enjoy the time lapse It is all done. It's a very basic layout, okay? This hut is a very, very basic layout, guys. So guys, don't roast me in the comment section below because it's only a very basic layout. But let's have a look at what we have done. We have put in a ferry line in over here. Let's have a look at how many people are coming back. Zero, we've got 10 people there. We've got zero going out. We've got 117 going out. So this place, Ferry P, is doing very well. And if I just have a look down into lines views, we can actually have a look. We have a bus loop. I think it's this one. That's fine, it's this one here. This is the bus loop we've got coming into this place car trips save a hundred percent which is really good and if we come into 
our fairies. If I can find our fairies, so we can't do cable cars. But if I find our fairies, which is this one. No, that's the monorails. What am I doing, Aiden? Uh, this is this one here. So let's have a look. This one has saved us no trips. <laughs> no trips whatsoever. Let's have a look at the red one. It saved us 100%. That's good. So lots of people coming in over this side. It is basically the only way you can get to this side of the city is coming by ferry or train. And we've got lots of trains coming through here. Lots of trains coming back. Actually, that's one thing I should really check. I should have a look to see how my trains are going. So, it's the green loop here. And it saved about 100% of trips. Well, because they can't use a car to get here. They need to go by public transport. But this is our fishing industry over here. We're doing a bit of fish farming. We're doing fish, commercial products and all that. So, we are going to be exporting commercial products. And hopefully, we can also export our fish as well which is cool to see. Now, this is a very basic city, as I said before, but let's come up to here, because the base is, is here. Everything that happens is right here. This is a cable car stop. This is the start of something awesome, and I think I can delete all some of these. I can delete them, can I? There is so many on this loop. Let's open the budget. Oh, yeah, that might be why. Let's cut down on that a little bit. Let's come, yeah, 70%. Let's cut back on that a little bit. There's way too many on the on this. So let's cut back on all of those vehicles. You can see we'll cut back on them. But this comes all the way up the mountain, as you can see. And actually, I was, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I think Aiden did a big boo-boo. Um, no. Oh, no. They can really... They can still use this um, highway connection to get down the bottom. Okay, no, that's fine. So, we've got, like, a little town little uh, town up on the ridge here, which is pretty cool. Looks like we are getting some a few people up here. So, we've got, like, a little town up here. And then we take the cable car from all the way down the bottom, up the slopes, all the way up to here. Now, this is where the beauty starts. Now, one thing I need to do is we do have lots of vehicles coming in to this area. So I need to come all the way down to the bottom where this road intercepts, which is down into here, which is right here. I need to go to here and I need to say it's SOS and, and all of that. That's it. We're not allowing any other vehicles down here. So that is it. So it's only going to be trash or emergency. No personal cars, no personal anything will be coming up through here. Or actually, Aiden done another big boo-boo. <laughs> Aiden's done another big uh, boo-boo. Let's actually fix this up. Let's not do this. Let's allow him to go up the mountain. And if I know where I've placed the town, you can hardly find where the town is. Right here is where I think I'm going to put the next set of restrictions in. This is where I'll put the next lot of restrictions. I will get rid of all of you and it's only garbage and SOS coming up through the mountain here. So it comes up through the dirt road all the way up through here so they can collect all the ghosts. I had to uh, some, I had to connect all this to the road. So we do have a bit of a park layer up here, which is we got all of the like the policies up here. And we're soon to be able to break even. We may even bring that price up nicely. And in terms of our entertainment level, entertainment is awesome. We just got to get people in to the park, which I think we do a really good job at. Now, in terms of policing up here, uh, yeah, I think you should be all right. I think there is a bit of a, some police coming up through here, isn't there? Uh, no, there is not. There is a not. Okay, let's have a look at what I can do. Um, ah, let's have a look. Can I, can I come over to here maybe? Ban, can I somehow ban crosswalks here? I don't know, is that gonna work? Being able to say that they, I do not want them to come down through here. I don't know what you guys are doing. Okay, I think this is all okay. I think it is. It should allow a police officer to come up here somehow. I don't know if they're gonna do that, but we should be able to see some type of an officer come up through here. And there we go. 1400 So that means this place up here is making money, which is super cool and exciting. And you know what, guys? I think we're doing not too bad in terms of our ferry services. I've actually added in a harbor as well. So we're bringing in passengers from all over the world. People are coming in because they're excited. This is leaving. We've got another cruise ship coming in with nine passengers, but soon we're gonna get loads more passengers coming in. And something I 
think we really need to look at maybe over here is maybe getting that cargo port in here as well and actually maybe providing this side of the company over here all of these people maybe providing these people with awesome things maybe that's what I think we may need to do. Let's do that. I think that will be very beneficial for this area. I'm going to go with one-way roads. We're going to go like so. Bring this around like that. Oops, I think I might try and do this somewhat nice. There we go. Bring that up down through there. Uh, no, I want to go up like that. Let's maybe turn the anarchy off. Let's see what type of invalid shape can we do. Like this. Or can I... I wonder if this game will allow me to go up. Oh, yes, it will allow me. Uh, excuse me, game. Excuse me. But I want to come all the way up through here. I need to turn it somehow, turn around here somewhere. That's it. That is it. That is it. Like that. Like that. And what we're going to do is we are going to turn off these set of lights here. That we know set of lights is not necessary to do that. And what we are going to do in terms of here is just going to go, go, and go. Turn crossings off here. In terms of here, we're just going to go and go. There we go. So now we've got a cargo harbour put in. We need to also put in some water pipes in as well. There we go. Electricity, it is all okay. There we go. So we should see you should be happy while you're complaining about water. There we go. You should be all okay now. Now, we may want to bring this down a little bit. That's it. Bring that down just a tad. I think gonna edit all this up as well quickly all right there you go so i've just fixed up the road just a tad we're just gonna do a bit of smoothing out there we go make it all look sexy there we go a bit of smoothing 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 there we go so now let's have a look do we have a cargo we've got four people there lots of planes cargo ship going to cut what's this cargo ship going to which cargo harbor it's going to the in the main one what about these guys over here we've got another cargo ship in the distance here this is going to that one yeah okay what about this one you are the owner of koga 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 hub <laughs> A go go hub. Where's this one going? Like that one there. You are the owner of this one. Where are you transporting to? Okay, owner of cargo hub. Transporting to cargo cargo hub. Aiden can't talk. Where's this one going? I don't know where that. Honestly, these are going. We've got another one coming in with four and zero going out. Okay. Okie dokie. Fish. We need fish. What comes out of here? Fish. So why is there no fish coming into here? We've only got one operating. Okay, well, if there's only one operating, I think we are just going to get rid of the other three because it's not necessary. But it looks like we are exporting a lot, which is really good to see. In terms of the land value, wow, this land value really skyrocketed pretty quick. That is pretty good. And up here, 400. I don't know what happened up there, but hey... <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Fish market. Why are we not getting low amounts of fish? Okay, I think we're just going to export the goods, I think. No, actually, no. Aiden, what are you doing? Aiden, what are you doing? Fish factory, fish market. Aiden, let's just keep one in there, just in case. Let's have a look. Land value is doing really good up here. That's going good. In terms of over here, looking excellent. Our unemployment rate, you probably can't see it yeah but it's three percent there we go you could probably see it now three percent which is good everything is getting heated everything is going good um let's have a look our fishing industry is doing excellent nothing there to complain about in terms of noise that is fine citizens happiness is fine um wind fine land value everything is all okay making 456 dollars this place is making money which is good to see now guys this has not been an awesome episode we've been able to do a few things today we've been able to just now start looking at it. and it looks like we have our very first cargo ship coming in and if these guys want oil we can export oil from this main yard over here this is our big industry port area we've got here but this is our city, guys. Let's turn a cinematic view on. No, that's not where I would like to start a game. Let's not start there as well. Ah, that looks much, much better. But this is our city, guys. We've done over the last... What, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Over the last 13 episodes, we have built this city up from the ground, the Snowfall DLC. 
And thank you once again to Nixon, uh, aka, aka, I'm pretty sure he's changed his um, YouTube name uh, to Director010, I believe it is. So, Nixon, though, if you are watching, thank you so much for the suggestion. And guys, to all my subscribers, to everyone that else that is watching till the end of this video, thank you so much for watching this series. This series has been incredible. And the next two episodes are going to be deadly. If their next two episodes are going to be deadly, guys, because in the next episode, guys, I think we're going to start preparing to destroy this city. And, guys, you may be thinking, Aiden, what are you talking about? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Shall we, guys? We Let's take a look. We can look at natural disasters services. So, we've got disaster response unit. We've got these small emerge and large emergency shelters. We've got the short radio mass, torn radio mass. We've got... What are this? Earthquake sensor, um, tsunami uh, warning boy. What else we got here? Weather radar. We've also got a deep space thingamajiggy, which is super cool. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of things here that we can look at doing and start placing things in to this city to get this city ready for disasters. Will we be able to, guys, save our citizens from natural disasters? I have no idea. But we're also going to maybe look at putting up some walls up around the place to some walls. I think some walls would be good. I think that's one of the things that they've got here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Over here, they got these ones here, these flood walls. If your canals have spots where they're prone to flooding, you can use to control the water. So we could put these in along like the edge or can we or, like depending on what we can do We could probably put them around the edge maybe I don't know because it like out the biggest wave will come over here So it's gonna hit, doesn't matter what it does It's gonna hit our cargo area and it shouldn't really hit much unless it's that big the wave and it reaches over here Now if it reaches here then if it goes over the mountain then it will land into here then we could be screwed so we may want to place in some stuff along our airport. Maybe, you know, saying, oh, you know, everyone has to get out of the airport as quick as possible. I honestly do not know. Not enough goods to sell. Okay, game. But I think this over here, I think getting everyone out of the city. So we've got some really good highway connection. And I think we've got everyone here in the city. I think over here would be a great area to look at putting in some emergency shelters for our citizens. So guys, in the next episode, we're going to be preparing this city for disasters. So that's in Thursday's episode. We're going to be preparing this city for natural disasters. We're going to be doing a lot of planning, just planning things out and getting the city ready to go. I think you guys, I keep rambling on, but I think you guys go get what I'm talking about and you guys know exactly what we're going to be doing in the last episode. The last episode, we're going to come in here and we're going to destroy this perfectly functional city because this has been an awesome series. We got up to $12 million in the game and we're doing absolutely incredible. So guys, make sure you do leave a comment down below what you thought of the series and should we do City Skylines again but next time on a traditional map with the green grass I really would like to do that maybe next time with the green grass because with the snowfall DLC it's hard to take some really epic thumbnails and I'm struggling that's why some of the thumbnails have been a little bit uh, uh, because I'm trying to figure out how to like perfect it but you know it's quite hard when it's a snowfall DLC because it's snow it's white and you're trying to get the cut right color balance right and all that jazz uh, but yeah it's been super difficult but I've learned a lot from this series so guys comment down below if you want to see another City Skyline series maybe on the traditional map and guys comment your thoughts down below what you thought of the series did you think it was a really good cool series did you enjoy it if you did leave a comment down below but guys if you want to see a different game here on the channel make sure you do leave a comment down below but guys I think that's going to be it for today's episode Episode, and I think in the next episode we're gonna be doing some incredible things. I cannot wait personally guys I cannot wait to see what happens to this city when we destroy it guys We went to enjoy today's video smash a like on the video if you want to see more videos just like this one Make sure you click the subscribe button right here click up here to watch the last video and click down the bottom here to watch the full playlist of City Skylines the Snowfall DLC guys I will catch you all in Thursday's episode at 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time guys with that said peace out